eight, nine of clubs. Let's go. Alright, so the 6-4 got there. We can keep firing lots, lots, lots of stuff. Uh, we'll use that polarizing overbet. Setting up for river jam. Probably not jamming that hand with all the clubs in case they miss, but... on that I'm facing a three bet mainly calling here but I just rolled a four bet so we're doing that back to the eight nine of clubs jams wow yeah gotta fold that and um, that's a little sad and here I obviously call my jacks running into kings like preflop all ins are not our friends so far let's get him this time Bad randomizer, bad randomizer, obviously getting away from it on that board. But yeah, that guy has 14.63 uh, bet overall on small samples, so uh, my jacks are definitely crushing his 3 bet range. And yeah, but I'm just going to sit out the next hand for a second because right before starting the stream, it seems like I have too much orange shoes, so we need a short bathroom break. Um, so yeah, see that's very, very, very good board for my range. Let's see how to, um, oh, take on my nines here. I mean, this guy should not have sevens in his range. This guy can have sevens, but he has way more pocket jacks type of hands. Um, starting off small here. Mostly taking it down against, um, Rivers are killing me here. Okay, I'm checking back a set, guys. Kings, nice. You probably are not a favorite, so you should check a lot. Or uh, a small bet does not accomplish anything, so um, maybe you shouldn't use it too often. And then there is the big difference of people are talking about um, protecting hands. Like, obviously, you can try to protect your kings on like a 7-5-4 with a flush draw, but um, what actually does it mean for you to be protecting? I don't understand that uh, when lots of people say that, because protecting means that, well, you protect your hands, so um, Willem cannot beat you on further streets, and this only works when Willem is folding. So you pretty much cannot protect against hands that are not folding anyways. Uh, I hope you know what I mean. Um, so it's not really a thing to protect against flush draws. To protect against the flush draw, you should probably jam twice the pot because then he folds and then he cannot get you. What you do is charging draws. This is something you can do, but they will stay in there. So there's a big difference between denying equity. This is the equity that gets folded and charging draws, the equity that stays in but pays a price. And if you check jam on me now, freaking duty, I'll, 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 like, this is a friend of mine and he always has freaking nuts against me. I have plenty of flush draws here. Like this tank, like I feel like, oh, yeah, he's definitely watching. I love you. What did you call with 10-7? Thanks for the donation, as if I was would ever bluff you. Oh, I was, I was so betting on any card on that river. <laughs> uh, that was a good pink. Here we face the incredible, incredibly large 4-bet. And there's no way he has a 4-bet folding range. So I know he has no 4-bet bluffs. Um, Hijack versus small blind. He just open raise calls pocket kings. So he's trapping, which discounts some of the super nuts. So I, I mean, he plays 15, 12, 8. But... <laughs> 
Uh, I'm not sure whether I can go for an exploitive fold. He has 28% four bet. He he open raises. I shouldn't even three bet here. He open raises 19% on the button. I'm just thinking about because of that king's read. I just read him on ace king, and now my emotions take over, and I'm not folding my tens, and I rip it in, and I go for the flip. I run to aces that somehow need a lot of protection for bet large. And I oh I don't get rewarded. So um, yeah, this is something where I could could definitely found an um, exploitable fold. I was not really looking at his button raise first in um, stat, so I should have just called. But given the read that he is trapping his kings against my three bet, I think I have yeah and. Still, yeah, I have still some reasoning to read him a little with that snap large four bet to read him a little more on um, ace king and not fold my tens, but folding would have been totally fine. Don't. So, just want to definitely see that hand. Uh, I see bet uh, a three bet. I see bet small turn is a good card for his range. So I'm checking a lot and definitely something that blocks like all his calling range. And now I guess I'm block betting. Uh, checking is fine too. I play my queens and jacks like that. Some weaker kings I'm having, and this is um this is a good sign. <laughs> uh, so make sure to not time out. I'll rip it in. Not expecting to get called too often, but. So his tank shows us if he's not faking, which I don't assume in zoom hands that he was again not bluff raising here. Um, seems like he has the king of diamonds in his hand, like some thin king ten of diamonds race here. Um, yeah. Are you streaming? And then, le well, like, that doesn't make sense asking me that. And then, as soon as you click fold, um, the chat is disappearing. So uh, he, I could answer him there, and uh, he's not seeing. But he might be looking it up, and now I say hi to you. And uh, I had it. Uh, if you're. If you're a nice guy, you tell us what you had. I think like something like King 10 of Diamonds makes lots of sense. Would be my first guess, but it uh, would be interesting to know. Definitely. King Queen of Diamonds, he writes me here in the chat, guys. That's a very tight, oh, I mean, okay, turn check back, but on the tight side, definitely. Um, so yeah, I was kind of busy reading here with a freeway. I was playing a four bad pot on the side. I'll show that to you in a second. Uh, I have a sense, so. Check this one out. Open raising, uh, our friend bit too easy, three bets. I, I rolled a four bet with that hand, totally fine. It is should be sometimes a four bet. Now, um, well, I hit a bottom pair, <laughs> which is great. And um, this board is great for me. So we will be using a small bet out of position for pushing equity because that board is favorable for us. Any turn card can, it, improve our range actually it can improve our hand as well so i'm starting off small i increased my 25 percent sizing here to 30 percent because well we are a little deeper and i want to get stacks in thinking range wise no, i don't really really want to get stacks in with that hand a five of hearts would be a great turn card And um, yeah, so uh, he ends up calling and wait, let's first play that hand. I, he limps, I, I raise big, I flop the mid set. 
I bet large, he calls, uh, I size down on that flush turn, he min raises me, so we are drawing to a paired board here and we will check fault the river against someone who plays 28-9, where he's checking back and was raising for free showdown. This is some tough stuff here. Did have king jack for value, interesting, or for free showdown. So, and now I messed up showing you the hand. Uh, let's see, I find it again. All right, um, let's just review it again. Four bet, small C bet, and then there on the turn, we have the uh, six of diamonds. <laughs> um, and yeah, I, I format very, very large. So um, I'm not sure how he'll react to the large sizing, whether he's oops, calling all that suited type of things. I think he's not messing around with me here too much. So I don't think he has like weak suited aces, for example, that he could sometimes call and not all the like queen 10 suited. He's just folding some of them. So yeah, um, I think he has like Tens all combinations, jacks all combinations, queens all combinations, which are all folding the turn. And um, he does have ace king as well that I want to block. Blocking fives is not too bad either. It's not a main thing, but um, yeah, might help a little. And uh, so I decide to barrel because how often do I have five nice outs here against the king? So yeah, it's like kind of random, but. I think not too bad. And I get the fold. Now let's see how much worth that flush draw is here. Um, obviously, you, you hit it now. Um, I mean, it does not make any sense, right? I have so many queens. I'm c betting pretty much anything. I'm checking back ace highs, king highs, and queen highs, all of them little. Um, so I'm so protected and I can just fold against a 2.2x jam, but it is so ridiculous that I think he's not doing it with a queen and I'm thinking about just bluff catching. And I will hate myself when he just has a queen, um, but just this feels so random and uh, we're trying. And he just <laughs> jams that queen. Like he should range check that queen, not bad at all. But obviously he exploited me here and owned me. And that's, uh, yeah. So I probably need even more sample to finally make those folds and realize they just always have it. And even when it's crazy, then they have a value hand that doesn't make any sense. Uh, so I was three betting big man versus cutoff here. Um, hmm. And I check called that board actually. And now it's time to turn things around, guys. It's just time, because we have aces here. We face a three bet, we face a cold call. We're going to four bet that shit here. And we have the freaking nuts in that three bet pot. And he has all the reasons to just keep going. We just want a brick, just a brick, because we keep calling. We don't need to, and here we are all in with our aces. Maybe one more. Uh, here, calling. Ah! Fuck my life. Check, check. Okay. Aces versus jacks. Resume hand. Let's go hold. I folded queens, lol. Great job folding queens, buddy. So. Let's look at that one here again. He had pocket jacks. All right. That seems reasonable. <laughs> so, let's go. We get the snap call there. This is never fours and fives. Um, so we'll go for the three streets here. Snap call again. We love the 10, so let's go. Never seen that guy before. Boom, next snap call, got him. Increase the value here a little using the timing tell and that we don't know him. He got king queen, which is a reasonable hand to snap call, but it's great when I can discount all the hands he would never snap call. That 
three bed pot here, uh, flop the mid pair. And the backdoor nut flush draw. Ichio 90 just hosted the stream for 262 viewers. So uh, first of all, thank you very much. Really great. And um, great to have all you guys here. So welcome. Let's have some fun and uh, turn that session around. For all the new people, we are running like shit, but we just start to turn things around. So um, let's go. Ah, I was so sure to hit that flush here. But okay. Check, check, we win. Easy. Not enough for a value bet, unfortunately. All right, guys, let's go. So, we've learned <laughs> that those guys are not bluffing here, so we are a little crazy. Usually we flat that very often, but I rolled an 87 and I, I'm allowed to sometimes jam that and they are not bluffing and I'll hate to be proven wrong here if you fold snow, but I'll just jamming it in with my freaking aces. Snap call, kings, boom. See you later. Uh, turning things around now. It's enough. Enough is enough. You assume 200 pool, you owe me quite a lot today. So, uh, so coming back to the big topic of how to deal with down th downswings, um, no one owns you anything, right? Uh, after that speech. So it's all about you got to keep working hard you got to improve and you got to get yourself into the situation and grind it out get yourself in a situation where you have the edge this is what you do by uh, learning a lot and then put the hours in and then eventually you will turn two pair and then you can over bet or you can bet normal sizing actually can do all kinds of shit. And then you turn two pairs in single race pots and you turn a flop top pairs in uh, super deep three bad pots. And you turn in more two pairs. Lots of multiple sizes are fine here. Um, so, yeah. Um, here he check called my turn bet. Flush card obviously sucks, but I think I still have some value against a 43 30 guy I've never seen before. I'm definitely not scared uh, to get check raised here. I'm snap falling if that happens, but I like no way I'm missing out on that value here. And he just had ace king and I binked it on the turn against him. So it's time to turn things around, guys. And I got called by, wow, my pocket sevens here. This is quite a loose, I mean, he was snapping me off. So maybe it was a good idea to stick to the nor normal, like nothing is normal, but uh, like the kind of three quarter, two thirds bets 